That looks good so far. Town seems okay. I might need a good town at some point. I never know. I have no idea. I am the opposite of knowing at this point. Uh, waiting for Twitch to like actually play this, and then we'll like officially get going. I don't know why I'm using a soft, soothing tone. Probably because it's raining outside and I'm just really sleepy. And again, there's also like this ambient noise in the background that's just holy cow, is it soothing? <sighs> Maybe if I click start streaming instead of start recording. Hmm? All right, guys, just waiting to see if everything's going smoothly, and then we'll get the show on the road. Although we have seven minutes to kill too. I suppose I can sit here and just chatter. So sad that we've used hints. I want to not use hints, but alas. Just, it makes things so much smoother. Although at some point I'm going to do like a hard mode new game and just go hintless. Alright, that looks good. Oh, wait, it I can hear myself. so much smoother. There we go. <laughs> I was watching some stuff on Twitch, so I unmuted the video. There we go. Shoot out the tweet. And continue. Not new game. Midnight each day. On Valentine's night. Time as you know it freezes. 20 minutes past. Your teeth fascinate me. Keep up, Doctor. I think we're gonna smother her in her sleep. I'm a grave Are we? digger, Doctor. I was at home. David is my husband. All on my lonesome. Stabbed him with a steak knife. Nothing changes. I'm a qualified angel of death. When I'm dancing. You get this date over and over. Hilda. I black out. I don't think she's got long. And Laurie just naked on the beach. Hannah. Is that it for today? Like Take everything they're saying and just make it one smooth conversation. That's all I want. I think that'd be like one of the greatest things of all time. Oh, it says high encoding. And I swear on my life, I fixed everything. But now I have to go check. Because it will bother me. This is just that one. It's weird, when you're running this game, if you look under details, you've got like four things running for this game. Okay, I set OBS to high, and then while changing everything else, it knocked it down to above normal. Alright, we should be fine now. I'm gonna assume we're fine. Alright. I have nothing to do with you three. We've already talked to Mariana. Um, I would roll a d4. Okay. Give me your honest opinion. Do you think those roll right? Let's see. How about a d8? We'll just. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, top to bottom. Uh, three. Ellen, it is. Who I think is the one that we have to select now, anyways. Oh, she doesn't look happy. You see that look on her face? I have to leave this and go kill a patient. Have we talked to her any? It's Elin, not Ellen. I haven't had a great day, to be honest. Oh. Someone accused me of stealing from my patients, which I would never do. Plus, Hilda's getting worse. Lady, you don't understand. You're my puppy. I need you to not be sad. Who accused you? We'll go down the stealing line first, and then deal with Hilda. It was Terry that accused me of stealing. Frickin' Terry! Is, she's actually trying to make out that I'm some kind of HSK. What's an 
just gay. Healthcare serial killer. Thank you. You know, like those nurses that kill loads of their patients. I'm surprised you haven't heard of it. Anyway, because a few of my patients have died on me, and some of those patients have given me gifts, Terry thinks it means that I've been killing them off. Are you killing them off? You can be honest with me. Uh, Elin. Doctor, patient, confidentiality and all that stuff. Are you? Alright. Um... That might not get me something. This? Oh, it did! Well, it started with this. It's a locket. Alice, I can tell. one of my patients, gave it to me before she died. Why did she give you a locket? It was the one thing she held on to right until the end. Her most treasured possession. Oh. She said she wanted me to have it. You don't argue with a dying person's last wishes. I need to be fair right now. I would probably argue with a dying person's last wishes. Mostly because I like to argue. By the way, let me know if the stream's going smoothly. Because, yet again, for some reason when I'm streaming, Twitch never actually like moves the stream. And holy cow. That's a good question right there. Also, if you want to, me to ask something, go ahead and let me know. Hey, I'll go. I always want to read Edgelord Freeman. I'm going to make that character in a game. It's going to be my next demon hunter. But Edgelord Freeman also sounds awesome. Which also reminds me of, um, oh, what was it called? Someone did like a video series where it was like, Freeman's like internal monologue for the whole thing. It was amazing. <laughs> um. Sorry, no. Oh my gosh. I could, in fact, call you Oscar. Little Gordo is so awesome. It's just I suck at reading. Oh my gosh. Game. I'm gonna fight you. Oh, she's smiling. It's cute. Yeah, that Freeman monologue here is so good. What was it? Is it like Freeman's Mind or something like that? I'm so gonna go watch that again. Oh my gosh. This? Well, it started with this. It's a locket. Alice, one of my patients, gave it to me before she died. I think we've got a bit off track. Maybe you should check your notes. I did check my notes. I'm trying to ask you this freaking question. Started with question mark? That's not really important. Oh my god. It is a question for me. Bernie and the doctor went crazy when Gordon started polishing the crowbar. Okay. Always polish the crowbar. When in doubt, polish. Is 
so oh my gosh oh I already asked that this well it started with this it's a locket I know it's a locket one of my patients gave it to me before she died it was the one thing she held on to right until the end her most treasured possession she said she wanted me to have it why does she want you to have it Let's go like that. You're asking me questions about something. I Elin, I adore you, you sweet, precious little thing. I'm gonna drop kick you. <laughs> All right. I don't really have anything to tell you. All right, let's go down another trail. I haven't had a great day, to be honest. Since I don't know Someone the phrasing for that. Stealing from my patients, which I would never do. Plus, Hilda's getting worse. Hopefully, going down another track will get I us somewhere. In our last session. Yeah. She's dying. I can tell. I need to see her before it's too late. Too late for what? To help her finish her unfinished business. People who are dying always have things they wish they could do before they go. We leave a lot of loose ends in our lives. We're very messy that way. She's so precious I keep forgetting that she's kind of creepy. That's a good question. A loose ends. I, uh, I don't think I have any loose ends. I don't know what that says about me. Alright, so they interpreted that as a different question, but that's fine. Um, what unfinished business? Hilda wants to see her daughter. Uh-huh. She's in Australia, so I'm going to have to use my talent. You mean Skype? I'm assuming her talent is Skype. I know a game I'm playing. Her talent is not Skype. All right. I can change my skin. What? What I look like. I can turn into what? a patient's loved one. I just excuse me. Hold their hand and ask them to imagine that the person they see is sitting right here next to them and. I become them. It's how I help them move on. That's how I comfort them. You were the somewhat normal one! Elin! No! Not even Snake! It's like a chameleon or some shit! I don't know how it works. No, you tell me how this works right now, Elin. We had an agreement that you were the normal one, and now you're dicking with me. I can change my skin. Yeah, we got that part. What I look like. I can turn into a patient's loved one. I just, um, hold their hand and ask them to imagine that the person they want to see is sitting right here what? with them and... I become them. It's how I help them move. Oh, I'm them. sorry. I'm just That's I'm how angry. I Let me turn my volume down. I used to have my volume like cranked to the max because I was really quiet. Now I think I'm louder now. Just, I'm mad at Elin. She was the one. She was the one darling one. Also, is that better sound wise? All right. You become them? No, it doesn't hurt at all. I didn't ask if it hurt, lady. A physical thing. I don't think my body actually changes. I think it's more like an illusion. Like my energy changes or something. Okay, are you turning into people or are you just giving off sh chakra or whatever? Your energy changes. Elin. Are you happy, Doctor? 
Don't seduce me while I'm mad at you, Elin. You seem happy. You have a very positive energy. <laughs> uh, thank you. Apparently, I have a. All right. No, it doesn't hurt at all. Doesn't hurt at all. I don't think it's a physical thing. I don't think my body actually changes. I think it's more like. All right, let's try an illusion. I really think like those short questions just work better. When I let go of their hands. Obviously, I can't see myself, but I feel it leave me. If you get what I mean. I don't get a single effing thing you're saying. If I get what you're... I... <sighs> Elin, why? I don't even know what to ask her. Um, it just sort of fades when I let go of their hands. Obviously, I can't see myself. So I like how she talks with her hands. Leave me, if you get what I mean. <laughs> Do you feel after? I'm not sure about that. Dang it. Alright. Um, Alright, yeah. I didn't know she wanted an answer. Okay. I... I still have marks on her talent. I can change my skin. Yeah, we got that, lady. What I look like. I can turn into a patient's loved one. I just, um, hold their hand and ask them to imagine that the person they want to see is sitting... <laughs> Why do you do I this? I feel like you're asking me questions about something I Honey, I don't know anything about either. Okay. I... Hold their hands. It only lasts for as long as I'm holding the hand. Okay. There we go. I think it needs that connection. Needs a connection. Alright, that knocked out all that stuff. We still have things on talent. I can change my skin. I've asked that. What I look like. I can turn into a patient's loved one. I just, um, hold their hand and ask them to imagine that the person they want to see is sitting right here next to them and I become them. <sighs> no, it doesn't hurt at all. I don't think it's a physical thing. I... What do we ask them? Uh, I don't care about stealing. To help her finish her unfinished business. People who are dying always have things they wish they could do before they go. We leave a lot of loose ends in our lives. We're very messy that way. Dr. Decker almost certainly had unfinished There business. we go. He didn't know he was going to die. But it's too late now. That's why I have to help Hilda while I can. That still didn't clear up stuff. Um... I don't... Right. Her daughter's in Australia.
Why would you help Hilda? I don't really have anything to tell you about that. You don't like Hilda. Screw Hilda, she can have loose ends. Alright, change your skin, you become them. And, uh, it... How long have you had this ability? I don't know, sorry. Alright, we're going to Hinsville. I've asked you that. Also, that's not the more interesting well, question. I have a few other things. Um, a watch. A ring. One patient gave me uh, a little china bird. They're not valuable. Just trinkets, really. Help. Uh, I guess we can ask about each Strictly item. Speaking, all of the patient's belongings should be passed on to family members after they die. But Alice's son never visited. He didn't care about his mum. Why would he care about some worthless piece of jewellery? It just doesn't feel right to me. What do you think, Doctor? Am I wrong to keep the locket? What is running ads? I wish I got money for that. Uh, you missed me having no idea where to go with this. I just- I am overwhelmed by the fact that we're talking to a chameleon. Um... Thank you, Doctor. That makes I, me feel much better. I don't think she's wrong. I shouldn't let what she's Terry weird. says bother me so much. Yeah, Terry's kind of a jerk. That's not really important. Ask me something else. Oh my else. gosh. Right. Hilda's the one I mentioned in our last session. that I can yeah. sense it, you know really it's like when you're outside and there's a sudden change in the light or the air feels different and you know it's going to rain it's like that I always know when one of my patients is fading even before the doctors know no wonder people Their think you're killing them energy changes okay that's I'm why the energy diverted us oh, I sound like my mum She said mum, I'm saying mum. I said she was into all this new age stuff, right? Nope. So she thinks she can tell me what I should be doing all the time because she got a message from her spirit guide that said I'm not eating well, or I'm not getting enough sleep, or I'm not looking after my inner moonbeam or whatever. It drives me nuts. Look. But Side mom is serious. Mom, I love her, so You gotta take care of your inner moonbeam. Like, whatever you gotta do to appease your inner moonbeam, you do that. Because you don't want, like, to be moonbeamless, because then... I mean, just hides and all kinds of stuff. Clearly. I, just... <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. You still have something on Terry saying she stole. I mean, you still have stuff on the talent. Yeah, she's not changing her skin well. That's what happens when you dick with your moonbeam. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't stay serious through this. <laughs> All right. This. Well. Yeah. It started. Start with this. that. It's a locket. Alice 
One of my patients gave it to me before she died. I don't know where to go with that one. Apparently we're supposed to go into Dr. Decker, but I still have like two stars on the talent thing and I feel like I should go into that. Do you know? Oh, do you know Dr. Decker was going to die? Yes. I had a session with Dr. Decker on Valentine's Day. Okay. Um, three o'clock, I think. Just a few hours later, he was... I still can't get So it. serious. See, it was serious. But it was a nice date. Different to what I'm used to. What are you used to? I'm not sure about that. Oh my gosh. It was your hot date. His name is Max. He's really I would name a dog Max. But I don't see a future between us. He's not really my type. What is your type? I'm only half hitting on her. I think we've got a bit off track. Maybe you should check your notes. I feel like you're asking me oh questions gosh. about something. I do not see a future. Future. I can type, I swear. That's not really important. Ask me something else. I'm going to dropkick you. What you do on the date? It was um, very traditional. Old fashioned, you know? She's so Dinner at a nice cute for a snake we chameleon person. Walk along the pier. Held hands, had a bit of a kiss. Then he called a cab and I went home alone. Okay. Real talk. What's a bit of a kiss? Like, did only the corners of your mouths touch? What? There's only, like, is a quick peck a bit of a kiss or is it less or more than that? I kind of want to know this. I don't really have anything to tell you. Is that going to tell you better going home alone? Yeah, no tongue. Also, if you're not watching American Gods, I'm... So, like, everybody needs to watch American Gods. It's so good. Talked about a dead lady kissing somebody. And they're like, did you give him any tongue? And she's like, oh, I did. <laughs> Terrible ideas. Getting zombie tongue. <laughs> Alright. I don't know where to go with this. Yes. I had a session with Dr. Decker on Valentine's Day. Um, three o'clock, I think. Just a few hours later, he was... I still can't get over it. It was um, very traditional, old-fashioned, you know? Dinner at a nice restaurant. Then we went for a little walk along the pier. Held hands, had a bit of a kiss. Then he called a cab and I went home, alone. 
Who took the cab? You called a cab? This loser doesn't have a car? I think it was about 11 when I left Max. I'm sure you could check with the I don't want it to be the end of season one. To, if you think I need an alibi. Do you need an alibi? Question mark. Oh. All right, we got to talk to Jaya. Right. I got stuff on this, but I don't feel like it's relevant. His name is Max. He's really sweet, but I don't see a future between us. He's not really my type. I want to know what your type is, Lainey. Stranger Things is going to happen again, and I'm going to be so delighted. And then I'm going to do the thing where I watch every new episode and rage at the end of the episode because I want another episode. Like, I'm the worst about that. Um, actually, I had a hot date. It wasn't anything serious, just some guy I know. But it was a nice date. Different to what I'm used to. I want to know what you're used to. Oh, see, now we're back on the other thing. I only shift at work to help go. my patients. I don't have any interest in using it as a party trick or to deceive anyone. I would. All right, so that takes care of Elin. If you have anything else to ask Elin, let me know. I can't. What? Oh, that's right. That nerd didn't have a car. How dare he? Uh, Bryce, Claire, or Nathan? I'm feeling kind of grave digger. Mr. Extra. He's so impatient waiting for us. Look at him. See, now I don't want to go to him next because he's being a tool. What are you holding? Is that a pocket watch? Is that how you know that time slows down? Uh, and yes, Netflix binge watching is the best binge watching. Uh, let's go with Bryce. His hair looks like a completely different color now. There's something I want to tell you about. Something else that's wrong with me. I think I've been getting a bit out of control in my hour. Bryce, I swear in my life, if you tell me you're boinking corpses, I'm going to punch you in your face. That's our general rule of thumb we're sticking with. Do not have intercourse with a corpse. When I first got the hour, I, I was shocked, obviously. Clearly. It took me a while to work out that everyone was frozen and only I could move. So you screened for the whole hour. My own. Oh. What would you do, Doctor, if you had an hour where everyone was frozen? I would steal so much toilet to paper. Fairground? Uh. No, he doesn't have the repeating days. That's the other guy. I'm telling you, I'd steal toilet paper. <laughs> this stuff's expensive. Well, that makes me feel a little better. Oh, you cute little thing. There's a young mother, divorced, who lives opposite me. Oh my god. Jessica. She's friendly and says hello to me, smiles. I've always wondered what she looks like, naked. So Bryce! Hour, I broke into her house. She was standing in her bedroom. I Bryce. Sign. 
I took off her clothes and... Brace, it's not a sign. I don't want to ask. <laughs> and? I don't really know about that. Please tell me you just jerked it. No. <laughs> I have no idea what you want me to say. <laughs> you know what? I don't know what I want you to say. I know what I want you to not say. That was her name, right? I took photos of Oh, he only took pictures. Oh, thank God. When I stripped her. When she was naked and frozen. I didn't want to have to do it again, to strip her again. So I took pictures to remind myself what she looked like. That's wrong, isn't it, Doctor? Okay, so that's still incredibly creepy. That's so much better than the three things I thought he might have done. And I'm not sure if that says more about me or him. Oh, he totally did that back in his room. Look, as long as the lady's not, like, pregnant and has no idea why, you know? Yes, that's wrong. I know. It's that bloody Dr. Decker. He made me this way. It's all his fault. Did Dr. Decker do? That's I a lot of diesel sense. For Dr. Decker. I helped carry his coffin to the burial site. Do you know what? It didn't weigh enough to have a body in it. What? There wasn't a body in it. Not something I know about. I don't know. Sorry, Doc died. Oh, dang it. Really, you fell asleep. Did he make you this way? Like I said, okay. I originally presented with depression, and everything was going well for a while. He's a grave digger. Then he knows how much a body weighs. Changed. Also, thank you for not having a messed up collar today. He I thought that was your problem. Distracted during sessions, like he wasn't listening. I'm pretty sure he wasn't listening half the time. Drop kick him. I don't think he wanted to know about his patients anymore. But when he did give you advice. He told me to use my imagination to make something up. What? To think something crazy and it would become real. He told me to think of a way to get more time. So I did. But he pushed me. He made me think it. What? I don't have they make you think it don't you dare That was so vague. Sometimes there we go. I see a girl standing behind you. What? I don't know who it is. I don't know what you're asking me either. <laughs> Let's back up to the girl. Possibly a relative of yours. Possibly a patient that died here. 
I'm not sure. She doesn't normally say anything. It's obviously not real. Probably a side effect of the sleeping pills I'm on. Yes, that does what? sound weird, doesn't it? I take the tamazepam as an antidepressant when I feel I need a little chemical help. I don't want to sleep through my extra hour, so obviously I don't take it at night. It's the Ringu secretary, yeah. Just nine things. Our secretary is not real. Why are you taking a sleeping pill for depression? As somebody who takes something for depression, I can assure you that it's not a sleeping pill. All right. He told me to use my imagination. What did you make up? Thinking I had an extra hour at the end of each day did become real for me, Doctor. Yeah. Maybe Decker was a genie and he could grant wishes. Maybe he, he wished himself chin. dead. I don't know. We're so nonchalant and like not eye contact about that. Okay. When I first got the hour, I, I was shocked. Alright, let's ask why he was shocked. Why were you shocked? I don't know. <sighs> when I first got the hour, I, I was shocked, obviously. It took me a while to work out that everyone was frozen and only I could move. Because I live on my own. What would you do, Doctor, if you had an- How do you live on your own? I live on my own. Occasionally, I visit my father. Oh. He's in sheltered housing. Dementia. Isn't that genetic or something? The dementia can run in a family, can't it? Alright. Okay. Let's... Think hard. Also, my light's kind of flickering. I think the light bulb's are running out, not that I'm going to lose power. However, if the stream suddenly stops, you guys know why. Um... We're on such a roller coaster with him. What was the casket lighter? I don't really know Dang about it. that. About the casket. Why did I type casket instead of coffin? No. The coffin wasn't empty. There was something in it. A decoy, I'd imagine. That's the story I want. I'm guessing he Windows was buried somewhere you. else. Or cremated. Somebody somewhere didn't want his body going in the ground. Do you want to be cremated or buried, Doctor? I mean, to be honest, I want to be just chucked in the ocean or used as somebody's garden. Like, seriously, if you find my corpse, just plant some things. We'll say I want to be buried. If you're buried, people can bring you back. What? You don't want to see people when they've come back. Excuse me? When you work in a graveyard, you see a lot of Clearly! things. I'm trying not to yell. I'm, I'm hyped. not sure if they're real, or whether I think they're real, or which is worse. What? Why in the wedding? What is going on with Bryce? What streams You're tell me? At me, aren't you? I said I wasn't sure if they were real. I'm not laughing at you, dude. I'm not laughing at you. I have no. Yeah, I. 
I just want to say it. He never said he was blinking corpses. He stripped a real person. I mean, he might end up with a mannequin fetish. Oh, right. Valentine's Day was a thing. I was home alone. I only lived Watching five minutes cycle ride from here, so I, I could have been and gone several times. But I didn't. I've never been to this office outside my scheduled appointment time. He knew what I was asking. Holy cow. Price, buddy. Yeah, we're saving Nathan. Nathan's always going to be saved for last, because I adore Nathan. I oh, uh, real quick. Back to, uh, show that I'm watching. Dang it. American Gods. Um, you know the guy that plays the air quotes big bad, the world? Well, when he came on screen, I recognized him for something else I couldn't remember, and then I remembered... That once upon a time, I was chit-chatting with my dad, and there was like this really creepy, like psycho scene going on from a movie called Willard, and he was the main character in like the remake of the movie Willard. And apparently, according to my dad, that's all the roles he plays, where he's like really creepy and like kind of squirrely whiny. Like, just that's always the role he plays. And I was like, wow, he really found a niche and just stayed there. Like, he knew what he was doing when he got into acting. <laughs> it's the anniversary hey, sorry, of my that. parents' death today. Oh! I'm sorry. I went to the lake house. I always go to the lake house anyway. But it's also where they died. What's with dead people and fake people at the lake house, Claire? I would like to be tapping here. I stood for a while, looking across the water. Okay, we can talk about that it's too. It's peaceful there. It's the place that makes me feel the most. Yeah, like Jason Statham, them, but like... By better lake, roles. Uh, only about nine or ten. She was fishing, if you can call it that, with one of those nets on a stick. I guess we're going into the girl. What? Uh, she lives on the other side of the lake. She must be new. I haven't seen her there before. Okay, so she probably asked, what was she doing there? Um. So the few things that like throws me off on this is because it'll pick a keyword. Uh. I I don't know. I don't know why I talked to her. She looked oh, sad. Taught her. I don't usually talk to children. But she seemed different. Special. I'm allowed to talk to her, aren't I, Doctor? I'm not sure if you're allowed to talk to anybody, Claire. Uh, we haven't actually talked to the blonde yet. There's still orange for us. Good. It felt nice. I felt like I was being nice. I felt human. So Are I you can human? find her and talk to her again, Doctor. I mean, don't stalk somebody's kid, but... Yes, yeah, you can talk to her again. Then I will. I'll look for her next time I'm there. She's gonna steal somebody's kid. Oh hey, we got an achievement! And then Claire just looks unimpressed with us in the background. Thank you, Claire. I don't know why I talked to her. She looked sad. Oh, she looked sad. Why was she sad? David had been hunting again, and, well, she's seen some of the skins he hung around the lake house. Yeah, those people start off as orange. I think talking to Jaya is going to, like, make them not orange, if that makes sense. Like, she's going to give us a reason to talk to her. Also, I thought he was, like, almost an invalid. How is he hunting? 
I'm happy to discuss all of these things, just one at a time. Uh, you know, let's ask about the skins. Animal skins. Um, all right, thank you for then skins. assuring us that it was animal. It's horrible, really. Um, he's not really good at either job, so the skins still have great lumps of bloody carcass hanging Ew! <laughs> I'm sure he'll get better with practice. Let's hope he doesn't. Um, registrar is, in fact, Spanish for register, but also here, like, if you go to the school to, like, register for something and you give, like, somebody a bunch of information or it just... My experience is it with it is giving somebody a whole bunch of information for getting set stuff set up at college, but um, that person specifically is called a registrar. I guess because they, like register your information but then they call I, I don't know why they're called a registrar now that i think about it but like yeah they're the registerer person so in summary the person that registers your information is called a registrar in english and i have no idea why and i'm really hoping the little girl didn't see his foreskin but like I was worried that it was, like, people's skin and he was hunting other human beings, so... At least she's not married to a fake Wendigo that she killed. Anytime. As an English major, I can sometimes explain things. Alright. David had been hunting again, and, well... She's seen some of the skins he hung around the lake house. We asked about the skins. Hunting question? Which... Alright. David wasn't there. Or at least I didn't see him. He wasn't there, but like... I didn't go inside. Um, Flesh was there. I forgot my key, and the spare was missing. Who has the spare? I don't have an answer for... There's very little I'm not willing to talk about, Doctor. But I'm afraid I don't know anything about that. There's quite a bit you won't talk to me about, lady. Don't mess with me. Um... I don't know why I talked to her. She looked sad. I don't usually talk to children. But she seemed different. Why was she special? I should have gone into these I questions first. I suppose she just reminded me of me. I spent a lot of time alone as a child. She said she was trying to catch some strange creature that she's seen in the water. Baby Cthulhu. I don't know. Minnows, probably. Everything's strange when you're a child. Oh, no. That's totally Baby Cthulhu. David wasn't at the lake house. Oh. Got your key? I'm sure I had a spare key for the lake house, but I can't there we go. find it anywhere. I don't really need one if David is around. But David wasn't around, so... Best husband ever. He was at the lake house. Right. Sorry. I it was 12 own. years ago. There we go. I was still very young. I was a young murderer then. Anyway, I had to toughen up quickly. I see what you're trying to do. But I really don't know anything about that. Alright, so she totally killed her parents. I know that's a default answer, but she totally killed her parents. I was a young woman in possession of an enormous fortune. Lots of people. Lots of men. So that is an opportunity. Alright, so I just had a side thought. Does anybody else think her lips look like Princess Peaches nowadays? Like, it's almost an O. And they just look incredibly kissable. I don't want to kiss her because she's going to murder me. Um...
How big of a fortune? Are you bored? Do you want me to talk about something else? Okay, fine. We'll go back. It's the anniversary of my parents' death today. I went to the lake house. I always go to the lake house anyway. But it's also where they died. Oh, sweet. I'll totally take a look at that. See interviews with people that make games that I like. Um... They died there we of go. carbon monoxide poisoning. Excuse me? I was staying at a friend's house. Otherwise I would have died too. She killed her parents. Wait, you had a friend? I will eventually put in the right sure. keys. It was a faulty boiler, I think. Uh-huh. Do you think I killed my parents? Yes. <laughs> it's okay if you think I killed them. I lied. You wouldn't be the first to draw that conclusion. Oh. People can be so cynical. I'm used to it. I said no. I, I'm not Total Biscuit. I'm not a cynical Brit. <laughs> I'm an optimistic American. Let's do this. They died of carbon monoxide poisoning. I was staying at a friend's house. Otherwise, I would. <sighs> I was a young woman in possession of an enormous fortune. Lots of people. Lots of men. So that is an opportunity. Some tried to seduce me. There we go. Some thought I wanted a new daddy. Ew. Most of them were the same age as my parents. And yet I'm the one here talking to you. Yeah, they need some body to talk to too, and maybe some handcuffs. Yeah, I wanna say Cause one of the actors in this is the same is in Contradiction, which is why I'm pretty sure it's made by the same people. Um, if they've made other stuff, I will totally check that out. You just give me a shout out. Uh, what are you doing on Valentine's Day, Claire? The day Dr. Becker was killed, uh, I had a session with him in the morning at my usual time, 11 o'clock. That was the last time I saw him. I don't know anything about that. Perhaps you should be taking more notes. You sassy little thing. Uh, let's see. Perhaps we should change the subject. You seem to be struggling. I really am struggling. Thank you for noticing. Uh, let's check out what she had how Dr. Decker act. Sorry, I don't know anything about it. I don't have an answer. Hey. I know why I didn't think asking about the session would like not count for anything since so I know why because I tried to ask somebody else about their lessons Dr. Dr. Talk about. Dr. Decker made me an offer that I couldn't refuse I'll be taking it to the grave with me though what the tea. excuse me Dr. Decker kill your husband? And then he got skinned and fed to the Cthulhu monster in the lake?
Nathan, everybody in here is a psychopath. Get out. Uh, notes. Alright, there we go. Uh, no, responses. Hello, Nathan. Hello again, Doctor. I had a bit of a shaky loop incident, but let's not talk about it. Yesterday, I set fire to Hannah's clothes in the garden. Oh, good time. I just wanted the day to move forward. I instantly regretted it. Did you cook marshmallows? And lo and behold, here we are, a new day. Hannah's clothes are part of ashes. Sorry, I don't know. Is it me or did it just really get cold in here? Oh, that's just the ghost. Pass. I answered your question, you jerk. Burn them. Let's try your phrase again. Can't up you. Sorry. I bet I gotta ask about the clothes. All of there the we go. As she left it. It's just the clothes. I've decided to burn those yesterday, so. Here I am. Hannah loved clothes. Every season, she'd donate her entire wardrobe to some charity or another, and only buy stuff she loved. I was left with winter. I don't even know what her favorite season was. Does it matter? What's your favorite season, Doctor? I thought you'd be an autumn person. That means you're supposed That's to be grounded answer. and productive. Ah, <laughs> productive. How do you like your space? I do like my space. Um. Hello again, Doctor. I had a bit of a shaky loop incident, but let's not talk about it. That was Yesterday, probably this. I set fire to Hannah's clothes in the garden. I I just wanted the day to move forward. Why did you regret it? Should I know something? Ah, oh, dang it. Sorry. Oh, thanks. I got to watch a thing. Hmm. I guess we're gonna get a Valentine's Day then. I was at Henley Church on Valentine's Day. Visiting Hannah's grave. It's the anniversary of her death. She died on Valentine's Day? wanted a huge funeral with all the trimmings. Hannah would never have come for it. But it does give me somewhere to visit. I got to write the epitaph. I always spelled it right. We walk alone. There we go. Without our angel. What am I supposed to get from we walk alone without our angel? Our angel? Question mark? Not religious, there we go. But when I wrote Hannah's epitaph, I knew her parents would want some acknowledgement of the great bearded one. But she was an angel to me. She was an angel to everyone. He loved that girl so much. I said I could Google it. I want to Google while streaming. That's rude, even though I mess up all kinds of things while streaming. Um, or sometimes I yell in the mic because I'm really mad at Elin. Work alone? I've been alone since Hannah. There we go. I can't imagine anyone ever replacing her. Not that I've looked. Do you think I should look for someone else? Probably. Sorry. No. No. Oh my gosh, it'll okay. be like 50 first dates, Fine. only he just restarts I'm the day. Right. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for, though. Just sign up to Tinder and start swiping. Maybe it's just company I'm missing. Although I don't really want any. Get a dog. That's my advice, get a dog. Okay, I will admit that I've Googled walkthroughs mid-episodes. Look, I never... 
claim to be professional. Although I do try to like not, yeah, I've googled words while doing this. I don't know where I'm going with this. I didn't want to look up a video to watch later because, like, what if it starts talking and then you guys hear it talking on top of this and then that's weird. I was at Henley Church on Valentine's. Henley Church. Oh my gosh! I left Henley Church. That's where the other guy works. About eleven o'clock on Valentine's Day. I was talking to an archaeologist who said it then covered some fossils resembling a strange cephalopod-like creature. Cthulhu! Strange place to find an octopus, really. What? Do you think I've got something to do with Dr. Decker's murder? Maybe you should ask your assistant who Decker saw that day. See, here's the thing. I think he could have do killed Dr. Decker all the times he wanted. <laughs> Dr. Decker felt that Hannah was holding me back. The memories of Hannah. In his opinion, I was holding on to the past. So you I probably guess he cursed are. me. That's even a thing. He cursed you? Yes, Dr. Decker cursed me. How dare I don't he? really want to talk about it, but let's just say I blame him for the way I am. Can you give me some advice, Doctor? Yes, I can give you some advice. I've been trying to think how I can get past today. I've come up with a couple of choices. I could set fire to Hannah's photographs. I've got them in Dropbox anyway. But setting fire to the clothes did the trick. Or setting fire to a rocking chair. She sounds like an old lady, but she loved that rocking chair, which I've not sat in since. Which one do you think's best? Rocking chair. Set fire to the rocking chair. I never like the way it moves forwards and backwards. Forwards and backwards. Sorry. I'm sorry for yelling. I left Henley Church about 11 o'clock on Valentine's Day. I was talking to an archaeologist who said it then covered some fossils resembling a strange cephalopod like creature. Place oh, that's why y'all. Really. What? Do you think I've got an octopus? Question. It's a sea creature, like an octopus. I suppose they find dinosaur bones everywhere. Just because we're on land now doesn't mean millions of years ago this place wasn't at the bottom of an ocean. I've actually seen chairs that rock side to side. She was interested. Maybe I misread. Maybe she was just being kind. I, oh. I suppose most women wouldn't enjoy me talking yeah, about sex talk for hours. Was she cute? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, Nathan, you're my favorite. I left Henley Church about 11 o'clock on Valentine's Day. I was talking to an archaeologist who said it then covered some fossils resembling a strange cephalopod. Did you see the fossil? <sighs> I don't know where to put that apostrophe. Not really something I know Dang about. It. So, what else happened to Nathan on Valentine's Day? Do I have notes? I don't know. Yeah. 
All right, let's just I left try. Church about eleven o'clock. Where is Sedhenley Church? Valentine's church. Day. I was talking to an archaeologist who said they found some fossils resembling a strange cephalopod-like creature. Cthulhu. Strange place to find an octopus, really. What? Do you think I've got something to do with Doctor? Did I call you that day? It was it was a missed call. All right. It was Valentine's Day, so I wasn't in the mood. There for we conversation. go. All right, I think I need to talk to Jay. No. I think you might be barking up the wrong tree there. Ah, dang it. I guess I continue? Maybe I have to ask about that tomorrow. David hunts. I can change my skin. Then skins. Dr. Decker dated his patients. I had a hot date. We went out for drinks. I took photos of Jessica. Dr. Decker did phone on Valentine's Day. And asked me for Nathan's number. There was a girl there. Am I wrong to keep the locket? I'm allowed to talk to her, aren't I? He was preoccupied with finding photographs, patterns, rocking chair. I haven't been back to the beach since. I had a bit of a shaky loop incident. Where I, I love these cuts. I set fire. Beautiful. In the sea. To Hannah's clothes in the garden. I dug the grave. I wish I'd said goodbye. Dr. Decker, curse me. It didn't weigh enough to have a body in it. So, oh, oh, Doctor, hi. you surprised me. Reminds me of Officer Yates. Did I ever mention I had a special friend in the police force? Nah. No. It's not something you drop politely into a conversation. He's been doing some digging and he's found a couple things. There's a crime scene report that goes into all the gory details and Goody. another report that's about a patient you're seeing today, Claire. I'll put them both on the desk for you. And thanks for the grief counselling, by the way. It's really been helping, you know, I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. Oh, we got a hug! Spite? Spite? What spite? Spite? She's so adorable and snarky. Oh, we have a Professor Warwick today. <gasps> Alright, let's start with our clues. Oh, jeez. Oh, it doesn't scroll? Alright. My knowledge seems is true. Ask Kate if I've said anything that I know. Christian Weber. I've never seen Christian spelled that way. Like, name wise. Uh, at 20 40 hours, so. 8 40? Yeah. Tuesday, 8th November, myself and that person, Holt, responded to a call received from a neighbor at the Bauer House, Western Park Avenue, concerning least or a a blah, 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 concerning a reported disturbance. I will sentence. We arrived at the address and knocked on the front door, but there was no reply. Then examined the rear of the property and gained entry through insecure patio doors. We entered the property through this door and I announced myself by shouting police, but did not hear any response. Yeah, that... Yeah. I don't know what you do. And I wouldn't reply if I just stabbed the crap out of somebody too. I searched the premises upon entering the dining room. A female seated next to a man who was lying on the ground and did not appear to be conscious. Both persons were drenched in blood. There's a substantial amount of blood on the carpet, walls, and furniture. Shocking, I know. <laughs> and it would appear to be a steak knife on the floor, which is also covered in blood. Hmm, maybe that's because she stabbed him with a steak knife. At this point, I asked the woman to put her hands on her head, which she did. You see, Holt secured the female while I checked the man for signs of life, but found none. So he should be dead. That's the woman her name. She identified herself as Claire Castleford. As she knew the dead man. She said he was her husband, David Castleford. What happened? And she said she had killed him. Doing a search by PC Holt, which revealed no other persons present in the house. The Castleford at 2052, you were under arrest for suspicion of murder. I then cautioned her and placed her in the back of the police car for transportation. 
uh, to Western Park Police Station where I relayed the circumstances of the arrest, authorized her, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I can't see more than that. So he's totally dead. We were right. He was located in his office, sitting on a chair behind the desk, soaked in blood with an obvious chest wound. Shock. Oh! That's why it's called a spike. Paper spike, death accessory, 50 mm long protruding from the approximate region of the victim's heart. Fine. Sorry from liver temperature to be dead between 8.30 and 10.30 p.m. The victim's body was reportedly discovered at 10.20 p.m. Yeah, he bled out. Okay. I have so many notes. Uh, should we jump straight into Claire? Just everybody was dating Dr. Doctor. Wait for Do we want Claire first? Do we want to? Just randomly go through it. We got six. Why don't you touch it? Also, I'm wondering if Claire doing it would be too obvious. Okay, you know, you have a dead husband. We're talking to you. Screw it. I've been to the lake house regularly, keeping an eye on David. I saw the girl again, the one I told you about. She was playing outside. Oh, we're saving clear for last? Alright, we're saving clear for last. Uh... What do we have for Jaya? Let's do that first. I'm fine. I'm ready for my grief counselling. I emailed you Mariana's address. I don't know why you'd want it. I suppose you're going to start doing home visits now, like Dr. Decker? I think you'll find there's more than one question there, Doc. Fair enough. I can't see Dr. Decker. There we go. Yes, Dr. Decker started doing home visits for Mariana. He said Interesting. he couldn't concentrate properly in his office. I hope you're not thinking of doing the same thing. I need you right where I can see you. All right, that's super interesting. Let's he said they had an odd effect. Is that what she said? Yes, Dr. Decker started doing home visits for Mariana. He no, it's stretching, right? He couldn't concentrate. Honestly, I think Dr. Decker had a bit of a crush on Mariana. Let's be honest, or we all have a crush on Mariana. Versa. I'm not really sure. There's some footage from their home sessions, if you want to see them. Give me the footage. That was a joke, Doctor. I guess we found our level. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. I didn't think they were boinking. I didn't want porn of the... I... Okay. Yes, Dr. Decker started doing home visits. Do you do home visits for anyone else? No, as far as I know, Mariana was the only patient that Dr. Decker did home visits for. Oh yeah, I bet there's a lot of footage of that. Yes, Dr. Decker started doing home visits for Mariana. He said she couldn't concentrate properly in his office. I hope you're not thinking of doing the same thing. Oh. I don't know. Yeah. Uh. Have you been taking notes in our session, Doctor? Perhaps you. Okay, fair enough. Why couldn't she concentrate? Uh. I'm fine. I'm ready for my grief counseling. I emailed you Mariana's address. I don't know why you'd want it. Why didn't you email? 
doctor. If you don't want it, don't text me and ask for it. It's all right. I don't mind doing menial tasks for you. Someone has to do them. Well, maybe someone sneaked your phone during a session and texted. What? I know they all look innocent, but if it's not nailed down, there's a good chance they'll walk away with it. You know, I used okay. to have an iPad. And a Surface. A Surface? That's a strange question to ask. Are you feeling all right, Doctor? I don't know everything. I know most things, but not everything. Right. Um, I guess the service is like another type of tablet or something. Yeah, it's really hard for Mariana to concentrate when clothing's involved. Um, I bet he had her dance for him too. How are you feeling? All right, fine. a rude question to ask grief is such a strange word if you keep saying it grief 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 it sounds like somebody's being whipped and you're gonna ask me how i feel today you're overthinking things you don't need to ask me that That's not something. Grief is such a strange word if you keep. I type. Nope. All right. Jay has a brick wall for us right now. Um. Well, I just got my pants like caught in a wheel of my chair, so that's all the noise you're hearing in the background. Tell me if you see oh. sassy pants. Do you miss Dr. Decker? Some mornings I come into work and still there expect him to be here. Sometimes it feels like he actually is here watching over me. We had a connection. It's gone now, though. You can't have a connection with the dead, can you? Not for too long, anyway. Alright, you just gave me, like, 50 things. Watching over you, for one. No, that's not it. Some mornings I come into work and still expect him to be here. Kind of connection. Dr. Decker asked me to have dinner with him for Valentine's. I refused, obviously, because you don't sleep where you eat or something like that. But it was flattering, especially I'm with competition like that. Mariana around. Really? I thought Mariana was shoeless. I'm committed. Dr. Wait. Decker asked me to have dinner with him for Valentine's. I refused, obviously, because you don't sleep where you eat or something like that. But it was flattering. Especially with competition like Mariana around. Competition, eh? Sorry, I didn't mean I was competing. I was happy Mariana was going out with him. I didn't want to be romantic with him. We had a stronger connection than that. I she don't know she anything was... about that. Look, I'll use your words. I don't know everything. I know most. I don't. <sighs> Dr. 
Dr. Decker and I shared there some we go. philosophy. We'd both read The Cult of the Kinetic Mind. I also uh, ate we agreed in my a lot of what it said. Like Have you noodles. read that book, Doctor? No, I've not read that book. Please tell me about it. In Cult of the Kinetic Mind, the book. author suggests that everyone is capable of psychokinesis and that the cult leaders specifically had these powers that turned their followers into disciples. It's not a fun read, but if you're into psychology, it's a blast. That sounds awesome for like a... Oh. Cult of the Cthulhu Mind. Good call, good call. In Cult of the Kinetic Mind. Oh gosh, how do I... Did I spell that right? Psychokinesis is the ability yeah. to change the physical world without actually touching it, just by using Which your mind. Which means patients do. It's not just about bending spoons. It covers all sorts of things, like no spoon. telepathy, telekinesis, telesabalas. Shoot me, I'm a Kojak fan. <laughs> I also like Kojak. Right. Dr. Decker asked me to have dinner with. Have you been taking notes? Yeah, it's. I thought it was a good question. I already asked what psychokinesis was. Um. In Cult of the Kinetic Mind, the author suggests that it's about everyone is capable of psychokinesis. Everything is. That the cult leaders specifically had these powers that turned their followers into disciples. It's not a fun read, but if you're into psychology, it's a blast. Psychokinesis is the ability to change the physical world without actually touching it, just by using your mind. That's not something I know about. I don't know where to go with this, because I feel like... It's not that I don't have directions to go, it's that all of my questions are overlapping word-wise. So I feel like I'm not going to get anything. What kind of cults? I don't know. Like I said, all those cool things are in Cult of the Kinetic Mind, apart from Kojak, obviously. If you ever get a patient who thinks they can change the world with just their mind, then duck. Just in case they can. But seriously, do a whole load of shrinking and make them better. Whether you believe in psychokinesis or not, you'll need to figure out your approach with those that do. That's... Really good advice. That's not going to be thinking things. Yeah. You don't need to ask me that. Uh, should we come back to her? Like I said. All those cool things are in Cult of the Kinetic Mind, apart from Kojak, obviously. If you ever get a patient who thinks they can change the world with just their mind, then duck. Just in case they can. Why duck? No, that... Where are your shoes? No. Why are you showing more cleavage today? Why is she slowly becoming Mariana? Yeah, I definitely need to talk to those two about it. Yeah. I think in this case, Dr. Decker is the cult leader. Um. That 
that's a strange that's a strange No, not at all in my experience. Dr. Decker had an unusual number of patients. I know what the topic is, I just don't know what to Either questions are. He'd been specifically looking for them or someone had there been we sending go. them. That's not something in for them? Nope. Sending them? Have you been taking notes? Was sending them. It's entirely possible go. that someone is targeting this practice with psychokinetic patients. To what end, I don't know. It's no coincidence that most psychokinetic patients are diagnosed as insane, or at least temporarily insane. It's a handy diagnosis if you're facing criminal prosecution. Is that a hint? Especially if it's for murder. No. Mm. Not at all in my experience. Dr. Decker had an unusual number of... Most of the patients you're okay. seeing have claimed some kind of psychokinesis. If you don't think oh, that's we know the case, insane. then they just haven't told you yet. Like I said, all those cool things are in Cult of the Kinetic Mind, apart from Kojak, obviously. If you ever get a patient who thinks they can change the world with just their mind, then duck, just in case they can. But seriously, do a whole load of shrinking and make them better. Whether you believe in psychokinesis or not, you'll need to figure out your approach with those that do. Approach. How do you make people who think they have special powers better? Do you yeah. remain passive and support, encourage them, take them away? How would you take them away? That's what I'd try to do. Oh, credit, I was answering a question. I don't know every. Yeah. All right. Um. I don't know. Maybe that's something she just does. Is that an actual book? Oh, that's a good one. No. Date. You're overthinking things. Yeah, I also threw in a spit. Oh. I was at home on my lonesome doctor, like I said before. I didn't think I need to ask that, because she said already. I don't know. I'm a bit of a bookworm. I'm one of those annoying, constantly self-improving, overachieving types. And I Takes definitely... one to know when a doctor. You're overthinking. <laughs> okay. If you actually get, I wanted to wink at me. Bookworm. I'm one of those annoying, <laughs> constantly self-improving, overachieving types. Takes one to know when a doctor. I don't know. Have you been taking notes? Okay, I think we need to get off the top of her. We're gonna have to come back to her. 
I'm digging too much. Uh... You have a shirt with a collar and I'm gonna have to kill you because at some point that collar is gonna be tucked in and I'm gonna wanna punch you in the face. Let's do this. Hello, Doctor. I've been thinking about our last session and I just wanted you to know that I'm not a bad person. I, I know taking naked photographs is wrong. But of other people. But you don't people. know what it's like until you face the same temptation. I'm assuming you don't know what it's like. Do you have an extra hour, Doctor? <laughs> Plead the fifth on any questions in the next five seconds. Thank God for that. There's someone else in my hour. What? A hooded figure watching me and following me I followed it too oh no Wait, what let's just start off with a hooded figure I don't know who it is here we go my initial thought was that it was you no that I told you about my affliction and, and somehow you'd got it too now I think maybe it's the military, or some organization that wants to use the hour themselves. Maybe it's Dr. Decker risen from the dead. Probably that one. I need to talk to you about him. I spied on Dr. Decker <gasps> not long before he was murdered. I'm not sure I should tell you what I saw in his basement. I'm assuming a sex dungeon involving Mariana. I'd been feeling uneasy with Dr. Decker for some time. I mentioned how he'd changed before. So I began spying on him at home. One night, the basement door was open and Decker was returning upstairs. I skipped past him and there she was, a girl. It was difficult to tell, it, it was dark. And she was chained. What? Is that supposed to mean... Chained? That means nothing to me. Yes, Vienna. I've nothing interesting to say. Okay. About the girl. I don't know what you're getting at. I'm gonna... Bryce. I've been feeling uneasy. Why are you feeling uneasy? Don't know. Bryce. I'm gonna flip this couch on top of you. And kick it. Whatever it is that's following me, it doesn't want to catch me yet. If I move towards it, it runs away. And when I follow it, I follow it past temptations. A bar brawl, an open till, an open bedroom window. Like, it's testing me. I think that I'm becoming a good person, Doctor. I'm ashamed of some of the things I've done, but I'm getting better. The hooded figure. It's testing my morals. Judging me. But what? I don't know. Whatever it is that's following me, it doesn't want to catch me yet. If I move towards it, it runs away. And when I follow it, 
I follow it past temptations. A bar brawl, an open till, an open bedroom window. Like, it's testing. I got like 12 questions, I just... In simple terms... Ah. Yeah, why would the military be following you? I'm surprised I haven't been approached earlier. I mean, my skills in the military. Special ops would be a breeze, wouldn't it? Waltz in past everyone during the midnight hour. Get whatever you want and return to friendly soil. It also makes me think that they might already know all of that, and that they want to get rid of me in case I tell anyone else. Would you do something for me if... if they get me? I don't know. Would you tell Jessica I love her? She didn't really know me that well, but I did love her. And also, there's a hard drive in there the we drawer go. of my drinks cabinet. <laughs> it's the hard drive. Please destroy it. Please don't look at it. What's on the hard drive? There's a hard drive with all the pictures I've ever taken on it. Oh, you have more. The one in the bottom drawer of my drinks cabinet. Don't let Jessica see it. Jessica is a beautiful woman. I've not spied on her since the incident we talked about. Alright, this is weird because that's my name. <laughs> I have real feelings for her, Doctor. I just... <laughs> really creepy. Bryce, now. Never connected. Why haven't you connected? Aside from you being a creeper. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. It's nice you think I'm capable of such basic interaction with females. But I'm still in awe of her, really. I will think about it, though. I think he took that as me telling him to connect to her? Um... Would you tell Jessica... I love her. She didn't really know me that well. No. Also, why are you talking past tense? I thought they said I they was leaving the chain, girl. Oh, what did you do? And sat her in the police station. There's no what? evidence, though. No evidence of what he'd done. But she was free. I saved her. I'm not evil. I destroyed evil. Also, you I believe like that. that Dr. Decker was a truly evil man. And so should you. I know you record these sessions, Doctor. I'm not going to be filmed saying I wanted him dead. I did, and so should you. And Doctor, if I wanted to kill anyone, I'd do it in the midnight hour, wouldn't I? And when was Decker murdered? I love that little eyebrow loop. Eh, I said my name before. That's my last name, though. Aha. I removed the chains, dressed her, and sat her in the police station. There's no evidence, though. Why is there no evidence? Is that supposed to mean something? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna drop Kiki Bryce. nothing in price
Oh, that's right. Was... Dr. Decker frequently used that paper spike on his desk as an example. All right, so I gotta ask people about that. I'm sure he did it with the other patients too. He'd make me look at it, touch the point to see how sharp it was. He'd tell me that because I think it's sharp, it will hurt me. But if I thought it was nothing, it could pass right through my hand. Okay, so that reminds me of the contradiction game, because at some point people were like out in the woods trying to like impale somebody's hand. It was awesome and weird. See, now I'm wondering if in the last he like stabbed himself with it. I had with him, he put the spike through his hand. Ah, He'd be no. He at me while he was doing it. No blood, no nothing. He tried to make me do the same, <laughs> but I wouldn't. No. There's like bones and tendons. Why would you do that? <sighs> no. You have an interesting aura, Doctor. Aura? I don't often see auras, Doctor. But yours is unusual. Like, you're more than one person. Maybe I've had a few too many drams. There's so much going on in this chapter. I literally feel like- Why are you watching your eye? Are you thinking you can- Or your hand, not your eye. Why are you watching your eye? Right. How did you do that that fast? I don't know what you're getting at. That you put clothes on somebody for once. I spied on now. Dr. Decker not long before he was murdered. I'm not sure I should tell you what. I never spied on there you at midnight. But if you start acting strangely, maybe I will. Dude, I don't know what strange is by your standards. See, I'm not sure if he's saying Dr. Decker's trying to possess me, or if he's pointing out that there's a person behind the imaginary person that's the doctor now. Because technically, we had that other part where it's like, somebody's controlling you on a keyboard and blah blah blah. It's like, uh, technically, yes. I didn't even think to ask about windows. I looked in. There we go. Watching other people is somehow built into our genes, Doctor. There was Doing an old what? woman in bed. Ew. I went inside. No. Her bed covers were smoking. I think she'd fallen asleep holding a cigarette. I took the covers and put them in the bath. She'd have died otherwise. Are you becoming a superhero? No, I didn't take any pictures. Yeah, please don't. No. I am fully aware that I typed. I looked in. Watching other people as somehow built. In simple terms. It's built into our genes? Don't know. I don't know. 
This game likes a good meta. I looked in. Right, he looked in. Watching other people has somehow built into our genes, Doctor. There was an old woman in bed. I went inside. Her bed covers were smoking. I think she'd fallen asleep holding a cigarette. Hmm. I took the covers and put them in the bath. She'd have died otherwise. And no, I didn't take any. Why are there two on that unless I need to ask about... Whatever I think it's part of that chain. Following me. It doesn't want to catch me yet. Like, I don't have more to ask about looking in the window. If I move towards it, it runs away. And when I follow it, I follow it past temptations. A bar brawl, an open till. Bar brawl. I think this is what it wants me to do. I split the brawl up. What did you do to the open till? I did nothing. I'm not stealing any more. That means nothing to me. Why Vienna? Why did you look in? That means nothing. Why did you go in the window? Is that supposed to Smoking? In simple terms. That's right, that... Okay. I think that's leading us off track of the thing that we're on. I'm actually a classically trained pallbearer. Really? There are a lot of health and safety considerations. Not everybody can do it. Well, properly at least. Occasionally, I step in if the funeral director is short-shouldered. That was a I do remember really good case. joke. She wasn't upset in the usual way. She seemed agitated. Her husband must have been a giant. The coffin was so heavy. I remember because aft port side sprained his ankle. That and he wasn't lifting correctly. Wait. I don't know what you're getting at. How is he lifting wrong? I want to actually know about that. I'm actually a classically trained pallbearer. There are a lot of health and safety considerations. Don't know. No. All right. We gotta be asking him about I'm her. actually a classically trained pallbearer. I kind of wish there was there like a tiny a fast health forward. And safety considerations. Not everybody can do it. Well, properly at least. Occasionally I step in if the funeral director is short shouldered. I do remember her face. I still love that joke. She wasn't upset in the usual way. She seemed agitated. Her husband must have been a giant. The coffin was so heavy. I remember because aft port side sprained his ankle. That and he wasn't lifting correctly. All right. Do you remember face? I've nothing in. I don't. Maybe I have to say her name. Is that supposed to mean something? No. Hey, we got a part-timer. For putting in so much time in this game. In simple terms, I've got- Ah! <sighs> I 
feel like I'm asking everything I should be asking and I'm just not getting anywhere, which is the frustrating thing with these. All right, so I need to talk to other people. That's. I feel like that should be a note thing that pops up, especially since we have it set on easy. Um, we're saving clear for last, so. Elin, hi. A tiny bit of time left. Okay, I suppose. Work's fine. Hilda's fading fast. Terry's Terry. Is she Terry Bull? I feel a bit sad, to be honest. I gave all my keepsakes back. Well, I thought about it. And well, I know you said it was okay that I should keep them, but maybe it did look a bit suspicious. Me I felt like they were giving them to what they were saying of somebody else. I don't want people to get the wrong idea about me. Oh, I have so many ideas about you. The watch, the ring, even the little bird Sarah Decker gave me. What? I wasn't supposed to mention her. Oh, no, we're going into Sarah Decker. Dr. Decker's mother. Oh, she was one of my first patients, but snap. she died a while ago. When did she die? Ask me something else. That one's a dud. Alright, alright, alright. Dr. Decker's mother. She was one of my first patients, but she died a while ago. Is that really what you want to talk about? Kinda. Uh, no. <laughs> it was just the perfect response. Alright. Well, I thought about it. I want Wait. Who did you give the China bird to? Because Dr. Decker's it was dead. It's just a little China bird, sort of yellowy blue pattern on it. I don't think it's worth anything. I don't know. Uh, tell me about the watch. I don't know anything. There's something there and I want it. All right. Well, I thought about it. And well, I know you said it was okay that I should keep them, but maybe it did look a bit suspicious me having things that have belonged to patients who've died in my care. I don't want people to get the wrong idea about me. The locket, the watch, the ring, even the little bird Sarah Decker gave me. I wasn't supposed to mention her. Why weren't you supposed to mention her? It just makes things complicated, doesn't it? Yeah, there we go. I knew Dr. Decker's mother before I started seeing she Dr. Decker. She probably suggested him. She's dead, and now he's dead. I'm sure you're gonna have a field day with it. That doesn't really matter. Let's talk- No, we're talking about this. It just makes things complicated, doesn't it? Why does it make things complicated? Sorry, I wish I could help. I don't want to type in hint because it's suddenly going to send me off on something else. I know it. It just makes things complicated, doesn't it? I knew Dr. Decker's mother before I started seeing Dr. Decker. She's dead, and now he's dead. I'm sure you're going to have a field day with it. Did Sarah die? 
I don't know. <sighs> they're not going to give it to me. If I type in hint, they're not going to give it to me. I've got too many other things to go into. That was Terry being Terry. Terry seems to have backed down since I gave the keepsakes back. Actually, it doesn't seem like she's been very well. Not her usual self. Maybe she's got a bug or something. Terry's gonna die. Terry is so gonna die. I'm okay, I suppose. Is Hilda doing? Hilda's nearing the end. She's been sleeping a lot, not eating much. She hasn't been that argumentative either. Although, she did give me a vicious scratch yesterday. She scratched you? It was nothing. I was just okay. trying to give her meds. It's hard, you know? I'm trying to help her, but she keeps biting me. Strangler. It'll be better after she's seen her daughter. I've decided I'm going to do it tonight. She hasn't got much time left. I feel like you're... I really am clutching at straws. Um, I don't know. <sighs> Is that really what you want to talk about? Yes. I asked you that, didn't I? I know it's silly. Oh. But those things meant I could have sworn. They were reminders that I'd helped those people. I'd ask why you were sad. It was nothing. I was just trying to give her meds. I've got her on a herbal compound. There we go. And St. John's Nothing. Wort for pain, Ginkgo for bronchitis, uh, Valerian, uh, Borage. There's a few other things in there as well, but I won't bore you with the full ingredients. Right, what she call it? A herbal what? I've got her on a herbal. are that you're not supposed yeah. to give a patient anything that isn't on their charts but I talked it over with Hilda first and she was happy to try the herbal approach she uh, <sighs> it's against the rules it's fine it's not gonna hurt her and the doctors at the home don't care much. They're hardly around anyway. It's the nurses that take care of the patients. Besides, Dr. Decker didn't have a problem with it. I feel like you're... Dr. Dagger question mark? Doesn't really matter. Let's talk about something. No, you tell me. I don't care about the paper spike. It's true then. I'd heard Dr. Decker was stabbed, but I didn't know for sure. It's weird. That whoever did it would choose the paper spike. Dr. Decker used to play with it in our sessions sometimes. All right. You know, pick it up, handle it while we talked. I remember once he pushed the spike through his skin. Yet this bit here between his thumb and his finger. He said he didn't think I'd mind the sight of blood being a nurse and all that, but 
Actually, there wasn't any. There wasn't any blood? I was a bit freaked out. At first, I have it too. I thought it was a trick. A magic trick, you know? Like some kind of therapeutic test. <laughs> Show the patient this retractable spike and see how they react. But it wasn't. The spike was real. I was a bit freaked out. Why were you freaked out? Sorry, I wish I could help. I don't know anything. Dang it. I don't know. <sighs> I was a bit freaked out. A bit freaked At out. At first, I thought it was a trick. A magic trick. Yeah, a fidget spike. You know? Like some kind of therapeutic test. Show the patient this retractable spike and see how they react. But it wasn't. The spike was real. How do you know it was real? How big is this spike? Dr. Decker gave me the paper spike to try. Okay. It wasn't. Oh, it's one of those really thin it ones. Pretty sharp, actually. I don't know how he did it. He said. He just thought that it wouldn't hurt him, so it didn't. What? What? Oh my goodness. This is... No, I think it's gonna hurt. Shove hand into a meat grinder. It's fine. It's not gonna hurt her. And the doctors at the home don't... Ask me some. Sorry. She told me she was going to. That's the plan. Can you record it? It sounds unbelievable, like I'm making it up. I wish I could prove it to you somehow. Um, we could try shifting now. Uh. uh think of someone you really love. It might help if you close your eyes. Are you thinking of them? Can you picture them? Okay. Hold on. I don't know if it's Jay or Mariana. Why did we zoom out on her boobs? Oh, sorry. I don't think it's gonna work. Face freaked out for a minute. On the bright side, that probably means you're not gonna die anytime soon. I, I know we're going over time. I just want to finish hers up. All Dr. Decker did was encourage me to think. Okay. But the shifting, that's all me. And my mum's a psychic, and my sister's an empath, but... What? I was just ordinary. I always felt like I wasn't special, like I was missing out. But I wasn't. What? I just hadn't discovered what I could do yet. Sarah Decker was one of the first ones I tried shifting for. What? I didn't really know what I was doing that first time. What? I mean, I didn't actually expect anything to happen. I just thought, what would really help this woman? I thought maybe she would just imagine that he was there. But it actually happened. I changed into him, Dr. Decker. It blew my mind. It blow my mind too. I don't know. <sighs> hmm. 
My mum's got these spirit guides oh, yeah. and they tell her things. Mostly about my love life, it would seem. And moonbeams. To tell you the truth, I don't really know what an empath <laughs> is. I should probably Google it sometime. I believe an empath means if like somebody's feeling emotions, you feel them too or something like that? That's the plan. I know. It sounds unbelievable, like I'm making it up. I wish I could prove it to you somehow. Um, we could try shifting now. Uh, think of someone. Is that really what you want to talk about? It's tricky. <laughs> I mean, I'll sound exactly I'm just like messing with everybody. daughter, but I try and keep it vague because I don't become her. I don't know what she would really say. I, I say things like, it's okay, don't be scared, I love you mum, or I love you dad. But it doesn't really matter what their relationship's like because it's not really them. I always do the Disney version. The best, most loving version. That's what my patients want to hear. And maybe deep down they know it's not the truth, but it's got to be better than the reality. Why is it better than reality? The reality is that most of these people have been completely abandoned by their families. No. Usually their children. Hopefully. If a mother abandons her children, it's scandalous. But if a son or daughter abandons their mother when she's dying after everything she's done for them, apparently that's just normal. I can protect my patients from that. Even if it does take a little smoke and mirrors. I don't know. Just, ah. Sorry. All right. It's tricky. I mean... I feel like you're... Yeah. Disney. Does it really matter if it isn't the truth? There we go. Isn't it worth it if it brings them peace? You know what? I, mean, I don't know. Honestly, Doctor, do you really think that what I'm doing is wrong? All right, guys, on input, do we think it's wrong? You <laughs> take some pills in the face. All right, we're supposed to try to cure them, so. So you're saying I should let Hilda die without seeing her daughter one last time? I don't know anything about that. Ask me something else. I don't know if I could do that, Doctor. I'd be letting her down. I'd have to think about it. Let people talk. All right, we've wrapped up Elon. That was a roller coaster. Um, yeah, like just set up a Skype chat with them. Bring the laptop. Don't turn into people. It's shady. They should be appreciating that Elon is there for them when they die. Also, are you there like the last second? Is your shifting causing them to die? I think our shifting might be causing them to die. All right, we've been way over time. Um, well, not too way over time because I started early. Anyways, thanks for coming to the stream. Next time, we'll probably talk to Mariana. I know she's a fan favorite. And work our way through everybody. We got stuff to do. Anyways, yeah. 
Um, still working my way through KOTOR. I'm posting up an episode of the kindergarten game a day. I'm gonna, like, I, recording wise, I have a ton of episodes of that done. Um, but like, there's still cards to collect. So I'm probably gonna keep collecting the cards and the last few episodes will be me working on that. After that, uh, Algordo, you tossed me a suggestion of a game earlier. I'll probably record that next. But I think I'm gonna stick with just posting something along with KOTOR. So 40 minutes KOTOR and then 20 minutes something else. That seems to work. Anyways, thanks for coming. I had a blast. And I will see you guys next time when we do whatever we do. May toss in an extra stream this week. Because the boyfriend and I picked up Sniper Leap and I was like, oh, we should stream that. Um, so I may finally do something with adding another person and just generally try to stream more. That's a general idea I have. Anyways, bye!